When's the last time you guys spoke? A lot of people asked um, for Floetry album. The very last day of last year's reunion tour. <laughs> really? That was it? Yeah. We did two years back to back of a reunion. And on my end, it was absolutely to um, reconcile, forgive, bury mm -hmm. the hatchet, and clean slate everything. Right. Uh, you know, as far as Floetry breaking up, what, 2006? Ah, the band had this app called Zello. I remember Sprint chirp phones. Mm -hmm. So when you used to send a message, you were like, yo, what's up? And it would come up on your phone as a voicemail. Yeah. I mean, a voice note. So it would be on loudspeaker. <clears throat> so granted, we're sitting there. His phone is on the table. We're at a diner chopping it up, like getting to know each other type shit. And on the loudspeakers, like, yo, Dez, you ain't fuck yet? <laughs> so I'm like, ah, yo, Dez. so I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, um, I was like, no, please let it play, please, because I'm a ball player first. Yeah, I've yeah, done yeah, locker yeah. room talk. I can handle that. That's okay. cool. Another band member <laughs> chimes in and is like, no, you ain't pop yet. You know she fucked everybody in Philly. Whoa. I'm like, wow. wow. I'm like, my pussy is legendary. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> it's a myth. I'm, fine. I'm trying to figure out all of these Philly people. I put. And then um, another one chimes in and it's her. Yeah, it does. Stop Damn. it. I wish I can't make this up. Stop and it. it's 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 messed up. It's it was messed up because What that was her line app, though? Because those were some good lines. What did she say? She Yo, just dad, co signed. She fucked the dream she, right. <laughs> 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 ah It didn't even matter. At that point, yeah. it was co signing everyone else's lines. Right. Wow. On a tour bus. This tour bus etiquette anyway. If I'm vocally going for blood every night, as I did on that tour, I don't really want any smoking on the bus. I don't of want course. to smoke on the bus anyway. Absolutely. So I didn't disclose that I was pregnant until the last week of the tour because I was so nervous. It was very, very early in the pregnancy. I was like five weeks, six weeks when I found out. So come the end of the tour, I'm like 10 to 11 weeks. I'm at that mark where, okay. You can tell people now. I can tell people now. Mm -hmm. So I was throwing up on the first row of several crowds and backstage. They just thought you and, were drunk. Yeah, I thought I was way drunk. Yeah. <laughs> and at that point, I had to disclose that, look, guys, I'm not wasted or anything. Mm -hmm. I'm I'm pregnant. And I remember telling her, and she said, oh, I kind of figured that. I kind of figured it out on my own. Last day of the tour, myself and my fiancé are on one side of the tour bus. Her then manager, which she, which he actually fired her, um, is sitting opposite me and um <clears throat> what's that smell? Wow, really? Blatant disrespect. Lighten up. Smoking yeah, yeah, just smoking at the back of the bus. And I was like, Oh, that's that's the nail in the coffin. That's that's the closure I needed to right. affirm that you just won't be able to get right with me. And that's not to say that she's reconciled in in her own right, whatever truth that mm -hmm. she's holding, whatever it was for her. But I must be a trigger mm -hmm. for what it was for her. Mm. So we just never be good. It, it's never going to be cool because she'll never just be there for me like a friend should be. I'm a loyal Leo to the very end. So mm -hmm. I was just expecting mm -hmm. all love.